Hello Aries, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about your person, the person you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are they thinking, feeling when it comes to you? Um, what are their intentions towards you? What do they wish they could tell you at this time? Let's get right into it and see what messages we have for Aries, Spirit Angels Guides. What messages do you have for Aries? For Aries. What's the overall energy for Aries in love? What's the overall energy for Aries in love? What's the overall energy for Aries in love? Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Can I get one? Okay, that's way too many. I just want one more. Can I get one more, please, for Aries? What's the overall energy for Aries spirit in love? Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. And it looks like divine timing is at play here. Bottom of the deck, past life relationship, definitely. <laughs> so this is definitely going to be one of those readings, I feel, where the past is back. Um, you know, if you're dealing with an ex or someone from your past, um, then, you know, this is going to be a reading for you, it seems like. But I'm also getting... Um, I don't know. I'm getting the sense of uh, a spiritual union. So um, almost like being guided to cross paths. So this could be somebody that you probably met ooh, as a child or perhaps the, you had a past life relationship with this person and it's like you're now crossing paths. So let's see what other energies can we get. I'm using my new Stellar Energy Oracle deck. I'm loving this deck so much um, it's available now if you're curious um, linked in the description box all right so what are the past present future energies for Aries past, present future energies what are the past present future energies here for Aries so what do we get okay we got victory lap success recognition triumph you're being recognized and admired for your success then we got new beginnings in the present beautiful uh beginnings new day journey you're ready for a new beginning and a fresh start the near future energies for Aries. We got unhealthy attachment, bonds, toxicity, codependency. Unhealthy attachments are causing difficulty. This could be for you or your person. So what I'm seeing here is opportunity. Um, yeah, in the bottom of the deck, I have happy ending. So um, I see an opportunity for a new cycle here. However, you know, this is real life. This isn't like cartoon hero, right? Like this isn't. In real life, there's usually obstacles and challenges. That's just how it is. Other tarot readers, you know, they might want to spin it into like a very positive thing. But a lot of us are struggling or dealing with difficulties in our relationships, right? Like, otherwise, why are we looking at the tarot? Um, I'm half joking, but really think about it. Like, there's never such a thing as a perfect relationship from start to finish or a perfect situation from start to finish. There's always something to work through, something to learn. Um, life is a journey, et cetera, et cetera. So I feel like this is an opportunity for success, for a new beginning, for a new cycle. However, I feel like there's something here that is causing difficulty and it could be, you know, being in a toxic environment or having a toxic person around us or uh, some sort of uh, attachment to the past that we need to let go of. We'll see what the tarot says. Um, but I think that there's really an opportunity here for something special. I have happy ending at the bottom of the deck here, so... Let's see what the tarot says for Aries. For Aries. What's coming towards Aries in love spirit? What messages do you have for Aries? Interesting. I just saw the Ten of Swords. Okay. For Aries. Okay. Let's see. Ah. the past energy we have the knight of cups 
present energies. We have the Ace of Cups, wow, and Temperance Reverse. So, wow, Ace of Cups, and right under New Beginnings. So definitely, I feel, um, I feel like someone's recognizing you, and then that's leading into a new beginning. Remember, time is fluid, so even though this is past, present, and future, I'm kind of reading it all together as well. This could have already, you know, happened in the past, in the recent past, where someone could have apologized to you, made you an offer of love, um, confessed how they felt towards you, you know, um, take it as it resonates. But I feel like there is an opportunity here again for new love. So, yep, King of Cups reverse. I love that this is right under unhealthy attachments because that tells me this is a, possibly an emotional attachment or emotional toxicity in some way here. Uh, the King of Cups reverse can be manipulative. They can uh, shift blame, uh, guilt trip, gaslight. Um, they're always, you know, they could be playing the victim. Someone that wants to manipulate a certain outcome. Um, this could be what you or your person are dealing with here. Overall energy, bottom of the deck, I have the Two of Swords reversed. So someone's making some sort of decision here. What's behind that? Three of Cups. There's that reconciliation card. A coming together and then Justice reverse, and then Five of Wands. See what I'm saying? Like, I don't think this is going to be a situation where if there is a re reconciliation, which I think there is here with worth waiting for and reconciliation, I don't think it's going to be without its challenges. So let's clarify. Let's get some more information for Aries. Tell me more spirit for Aries. This is resonating for you, Aries. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below. Hit the like button and subscribe and enjoy these types of readings. I want to see more. I love hearing from you guys. I can't respond to every comment, but I do read them all. Help me clarify, please, one more. If you're interested in any of the decks that I use, they're linked down below in the description box. All right, let's start with this Two of Swords Reverse. What's this about? Why is the Two of Swords Reverse? The two of swords reverse. Six of cups. There's the past. A decision regarding the past. Um, this is a soulmate card. Typically, it's really a card about coming home, about nostalgia, memories, good memories, good times. Um, reflecting on, you know, something sweet, tender, some, some moments that really brought the child innocence or sweetness out of you right like that's usually what the six of cups is about oh my god we got the king of cups reversed again i'm also getting for some of you this king of cups reversed it could be intense heartbreak and disappointment that have kept someone stuck or attached to the past in some way tell me more about this two of swords reverse The Chariot Reverse, Cancer Energy. By the way, I do read reversals on my channel. If you are not a fan of reversals or don't understand them, there are plenty of other tarot readers here on YouTube that don't use them, so feel free to watch their videos. Um, I keep getting comments about reversals, like I don't care. <laughs> like this is my channel. If you don't wanna use reversals, start your own channel. Nobody's stopping you. All right, anyways. <laughs> So the cherry reverse, this is someone that is stuck. This could be somebody stuck in the past. This could be somebody that um, wants to move forward, have some sort of success, but is on the right, wrong path here. Yeah, six of swords. So very interesting energy here. Uh, six of swords is about leaving a difficult situation, having some sort of transition into something calmer, um, a better, uh, situation overall so leaving a difficult situation for a better one right that's really what's here I feel like someone here uh, you or your person Aries um, you need to leave the past behind I just heard don't look back so it's almost like someone's kind of stuck though perhaps someone has to completely switch direction and maybe this was a hard decision to make this is the overall energy. So I feel like someone needs to, yeah. And then I have the Ace of Cups reversed at the bottom. So someone had to leave the past behind. Something that wasn't um, wasn't working out or was very uh, heartbreaking, difficult. This could have been the relationship between you and this person. Maybe in the past, one of you walked away from the other. 
one of you left the situation, maybe you switched direction or uh, changed paths or separated, um, whatever the case may be. I feel like I can, I, it can go either way here. You're either dealing with someone or are having situations where the past is kind of having a hold on you or um, maybe this already happened between you. So take it as it resonates. We'll get some more. Tell me more actually about this chariot reverse. You got three cards. I'm not going to take them all, but I'm going to look at it. Oh my God, the King of Cups reversed again. Like I'm not making this up. There he is. Seven of Swords. Yeah. This could be somebody difficult. And then the Three of Pentacles. Yeah. So this is the story that I'm getting. Like there's probably a third person or some sort of outside party um, that's kind of getting in the way here or someone that's not really doing what they should be doing. Like the King of Cups reversed and the Seven of Swords is usually someone unethical. Uh, could be somebody unfaithful. Um, it could be somebody manipulating a situation. Hmm. Can you get one more for the cherry reverse, please? I don't think it's a coincidence that the King of Cups reverse keeps wanting to come out. And feel free to Google King of Cups reverse to get more information because there's a lot that goes into it. Two of Pentacles reverse. Yes, this is definitely a choice. Someone had to make a choice, had to probably choose one or over the other or drop a pentacle for the other. They couldn't keep something um, working or in the air and that's why they're stuck. So I feel like in the past, you know, this is something that had to happen. Um, something had to not work or a decision had to be made in order to have uh, a transition here. And it's, it's related to the past. So why is this Knight of Cups here? Let's move on here. We have a lot of water here, by the way. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. And then I have Sagittarius with the Temperance card reverse. These are just the signs that I see right now, but it does not have to be. Um, I think it's very interesting that I have all of these cups here in your reading and then Temperance reverse. So it's like something's not coming together or the timing. This is that timing card. Divine timing is at work. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Seven of Swords. My goodness, someone need, probably needs to apologize for what happened. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Hangman reverse. I feel like someone needs to apologize for the fact that they are probably still stuck in a situation or got into the wrong uh, situation here. Tell me about the night. Maybe they couldn't see things clearly. Two of cups reversed. I feel like this is an apology. There could have been, yeah, there could have been um, a situation where you separated from this person and that's why we have reconciliation. This could also be happening outside of your connection. Someone probably needing to get out of a commitment just because I feel like I'm seeing cards about being stuck. Um, and then I have, of course, unhealthy attachment here. This is probably, you know, take it as a resonance, Aries, but it could be that, you know, one of you is in a commitment or a situation that you need to leave or get out of, and maybe you took too long or you weren't able to, or you're still working on it, and you so you have to like apologize for that or someone separated, you know, maybe there was a separation in the past and someone feels like they need to apologize. Um, maybe tell you that they still love you, they still recognize your worth and, and want success with you. We'll see the more we carry on here. Also, the extended this time around, um, I'm gonna be looking into your person, everything that you wanna know about your person, what they're thinking or feeling, um, what are their intentions? What are their next actions? Let's move on though. Ace of Cups with Temperance Reverse. What can you tell me here? I want to shuffle. Hang on. New love, abundance. What's this? This wants to come out. Page of Wands. Okay. New love, abundance, but something is not coming together in harmony with Temperance Reverse. Um, there's a lot more work to be done or a lot more that needs to come together here that needs to blend. Okay. Tell me more about the Ace of Cups with it. There we go. That feels better. With the Temperance card reverse for Aries. 
Oh my god. <laughs> King of Swords reverse. We keep getting people. Hold on, what's this? I keep getting people in reverse. Two of Wands reverse. So, you know, it's almost like someone wants, you know, this is the, the third two that's reversed. We have the Two of Swords reverse, Two of Pentacles reverse, Two of Wands reverse. There is definitely a choice that has been made, but I feel like, did I hit the tripod? Sorry about that. I feel like so, with the King's reverse, it's almost like um, someone's not dealing well with this decision. Tell me more about the Ace of Cups and Temperance reverse. Nine of Swords, fear, anxiety, stress. Can I get one more, please? What's this Two of Wands reverse about? Tell me about the Two of Wands reverse. Nine of Cups. Someone's making a decision for their own emotional fulfillment. Can I get one more for the Two of Wands reverse? Oh, I got. Yeah, the Sun. Three of Swords reverse. Someone is making a decision, but then I have the Queen of Pentacles reverse. Someone's making a decision here um, based on what makes them happy, what brings them fulfillment. Um, I feel like this is a very clear wish that they want or something that they desire that's very um, clear to them. I feel like this decision will probably make someone very happy. Um, maybe this is the decision that's needed for this connection, but then I have the Three of Swords reverse. So there's there's an interference here for sure. Um, I have the Three of Pentacles reverse that showed up earlier, or the Three of Pentacles, and I have the Three of Swords reverse. This could also be someone healing from a difficult situation, um, overcoming heartbreak. Um, but this all stems from a decision. So I feel like someone's trying to make a decision here, but then I have fear. There's fear and then probably fear of this King of Swords reverse. Tell me more about this King of Swords reverse. Someone very difficult to deal with, um, this King of Swords reverse. Can you get one more? Empress reverse. Oh, God. And death reverse. Yeah, there's someone that does not want this change to take place. Scorpio energy. There's someone that does not want this new beginning to take place. Could be anybody could be on your end um someone surrounding you someone surrounding them tell me about the king of cups reverse nine of pentacles this is about being free independent tell me about the king of cups reverse the magician wow manifest this is someone manifesting freedom independence stability stability And over uh, re uh, recovering what they've lost. Five of Cups reversed. Judgment at the bottom of the deck. Um, this is someone that wants a second chance. Um, I feel like this King of Cups reversed could be somebody that got, you know, maybe they, their intuition was blocked or they weren't thinking straight and they got themselves into an unhealthy attachment. Tell me about unhealthy attachment. Four of Cups, yeah. They're not happy there. Tell me more about unhealthy attachment. Whoever this is, this could also be you. It's like while you're in this situation, justice reverse, exactly. Uh, Libra energy, while you're in the situation that feels unfair, unbalanced, um, feels like nothing's working out for you, you there's, you're manifesting a, a reconciliation, a second chance. Someone got into a situation that became unhealthy and now they're trying to manifest a way out of that. Tell me more about the magician. Got the four of wands reverse. Tell me more about the magician. Ace of wands reverse. So eight of swords reverse. Someone needs to overcome, get out of a situation. Yeah, Page of Cups reverse. Someone needs to get out of a situation that um, they're they're thinking about manifesting because there's nothing. It's an unhappy home, uh, unhappy situation. They're not happy where they're at. This could be you or your person. Um, there's 
heartbreak, disappointment. Um, they're all they're doing is uh, dreaming of a new beginning, of a new opportunity. Tell me about the challenges or the blocks in this connection. What are the challenges or the blocks to this connection? Let's see for Aries. What are the challenges or the blocks to this connection? Nine of Wands. Being exhausted, put through the ringer, but not wanting to give up. A lot of time, a lot of baggage. Challenges or blocks to this connection, Spirit. Three of Swords, pain, disappointment, heartbreak, difficulty. Someone's not doing well. Yeah, Five of Wands, conflict. So th these are the challenges or the blocks to your connection. Conflict, arguments, drama. Trust issues, baggage, etc., etc. So I don't think it's a coincidence that we have, you know, sometimes I get comments like, oh, well, the cards would have been positive if you hadn't, you know. <laughs> but that's not the case. I'm, I'm just showing you or interpreting what I see, what's here. You know, if the message was different, the cards would be different, right? So let's get some more um, guidance here from Spirit. Where I want to look at this... Um, these two cards here worth waiting for and reconciliation to get an idea of who who's coming towards you what are their true intentions what's the 411 on that person so let's see i'm using my new stellar guidance oracle deck this is also available now it's linked down below all right so let's see any guidance or messages for aries summer Something could be happening this summer. Any messages or guidance for Aries? Divine timing again. 